great! Excellent. G'day, welcome everybody. Uh, we are the Stevenson Experience. The more astute of you may have noticed already that we are identical twins. Also brothers. And I reckon that restaurants are quite judgy these days. They're quite judgy. I went into an Indian restaurant for lunch the other day and I ordered and the guy behind the counter said, how would you like it? You can have it mild, medium, hot or Indian hot. And I quite like spice, so I said, I would like Indian hot, please. And he said, no. <laughs> he said, you're white, you are the wrong colour for Indian hot. I was like, excuse me, it's 2019. If I would like Indian hot, I would like Indian hot, please serve it to me, sir. And he gave it to me, and it turns out he was fucking right, okay? <laughs> it was way too hot. I quickly went, the wrong colour for Indian hot. Took it back quite quickly, and I was like, do you have anything in an Australian mild, please? Thank you. The world is changing, this is a song about that. Thanks to the 21st century for allowing journalists to use Twitter as an actual source. I'm sorry, but I just cannot take a news article seriously if I'm reading it says yes. I also agree that the refugee crisis is fundamentally a breach of human rights, says at Coxmasher89. Thanks to the 21st century for having airport security, which requires me to put all my bags through an x-ray machine that can see through all my bags, except a fucking laptop bag. Seriously, what is my laptop bag made out of that my other bags aren't, that you can't see through it? I'll tell you what, Batman doesn't need kryptonite to defeat Superman, he just needs to make his bat suit out of fucking laptop bags. Thanks to the 21st century for having that one colleague in every workplace who signs off every email with kind regards. You know the one, every email. Kind regards, kind regards, kind regards, kind regards. And then one day they send you an email and simply write, regards. What the fuck did I do to you, Janet? If it's your milk in the work fridge, it is your job to label it. Thanks to the 21st century for having escape rooms become a viable form of social activity. When did that start happening? When do we start bringing up our friends and saying, oh, hey, what are you doing on Sunday? You want to get locked in a room together and see if we can find a way out? Fuck me, Frizzle's basement looked like a good time. We should really give that a whirl. We didn't want it as a team building exercise at work. It was supposed to be scary and realistic. We were escaping from a mad scientist lab. There was fake blood everywhere. It was supposed to be scary and realistic. That's not a realistic escape room. Lock me in a room with Deborah from accounts and pretend it's the work Christmas party and give me an hour to escape that conversation and that's a terrifying escape room. Cause it's, it's a modern, modern age and I find it confusing because they keep changing the things that I'm using. I feel the world is set on abusing me in the 21st century. Thanks to the 21st century for group chats. I mean, they are the worst to organise anything. They are painfully bad and I can prove it to you because everyone going to an event with a group of people has two group chats. One with the five people who are interested in the event and one with the four people who are definitely going, leaving out the person who's fucking up the group chat. Also, I note half of you laughed at that, which means the other half of you don't have a second group chat. <laughs> Thanks to the 21st century for audiobooks. You can get all your favourite authors, it's fantastic. Although I've got one recently, it's rubbish. It's the Where's Wally audiobook. It's shit, it's just like guy on a skateboard, dog, kid with a balloon. Wally, guy on a skateboard, dog, kid with a balloon. Thanks to the 21st century for people who treat their dogs like human beings. You can get a dog anything these days. You can get them a jacket, clothes, you can buy an audiobook for your dog. You can get your dog therapy. Newsflash, if you think your dog needs therapy, you need fucking therapy. No dog is waltzing into a therapist, lying down on the lounge and being like, oh, I know I'm supposed to be a great Dane, but most days I just feel like a regular Dane. I'm such a blue healer, chill, wah, wah, wah. Thanks to the 21st century for eight cash machines that asked me if I would like to record this as my favourite withdrawal. Here's the thing, cash machines, you attitude riddled piece of shit. Money's coming out of my account. I have no favourite withdrawal. Thanks to the 21st century. Bad and strict, the liquor licensing restrictions that get me kicked out of a nightclub if my driver's licence is expired. I'm pretty sure that I was 29 two months ago and it was valid. I'm not ageing backwards, do I look like Benjamin Button? Let me in the fucking club. Age, I find it confusing because they keep changing the things that I'm using. I feel like I'm getting old. I'm turning into my dad yesterday. I microwaved a cup of tea. <laughs> if you laughed at that, your life is over. I'm sorry. But if you're sitting there and you think, I made that seven hours ago, I might give it a quick zap and have another crack at it. There is nothing left for you on this earth. I don't think it's that bad. I think the worst is when you go to microwave a cup of tea and you open the microwave door and there's one already in there. 
Thanks to the 21st century for inventing a bracelet that people can wear That tells me if they have a medical condition and how it can be treated It's a medical alert bracelet Thanks to the 21st century for inventing a bracelet that people could wear That tells me if they are a narcissistic asshole. It's called a Fitbit Have you ever met anybody with a Fitbit? They're all exactly the same All they can talk about every day is their daily goal On a daily goal, 10,000 10, steps every day, day, every day, 10,000 steps Why are you reaching your daily goal every day? Because the Fitbit is a pedometer Which means it's scientifically designed to measure an up-down motion It goes on your wrist and you are a Wanker! <laughs> 21st century Then I was walking down the street the other day I walked past the bouncer who kicks me out of the nightclub He was busy looking at his iPhone and he was distracted by an audiobook So he didn't notice that the cash machine that he was walking past Had a live electric wire sticking out And when he walked past it the wire touched his Fitbit Which gave him an electric shock which killed him instantly Then the cash machine exploded And started firing hundred dollar bills across his corpse now that is my favourite withdrawal! <laughs> Thank you! No. Thanks! Here you go. Um, as we... Nice little... Good little smattering of applause there on the Fitbit joke, but we know you weren't actually clapping because you liked the joke. We know you were just trying to get your steps up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. As we said, we are identical twins, which means that we are exactly the well, same. We're not, sorry, sorry to what? point this out. We're not exactly the same. Like, obviously, there are differences. I'm the lead singer. I'm the handsome one. I mean, <laughs> I know it's the same, but we're not exactly the same. Like, you look like if somebody tried to draw me <laughs> from memory. <laughs> On an etch -a sketch during an earthquake while tweaking on crystal meth. <laughs> Alright, you might think you're better looking, but I'm cleverer. Because you guys don't know this, but I write all of his jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I'd have a really good comeback for that, but he didn't fucking write me one, so... <laughs> I wrote that, ladies I'm and gentlemen. I'm very intelligent, right? I've been reading heaps, uh, heaps of non-fiction lately, actually. If you don't believe me, try me. Sure. There was a guy named Adam and a girl named Eve lived in the Garden of Eden, covered their genitals up with leaves. Contraceptions come a long way since then. They were kicked out of the garden's gate. Yeah, they were asked to leave when Eve was tricked by the one-eyed snake when she ate the apple and swallowed the seed. Ah, Cain and Abel into the fable. More must feed at the dinner table. Animal Abel was unstable. Killed by his brother in a jealous rage all that's left is a husband, mum and son. Somehow they made the rest of us. Now I can't be the only one who thinks that's a little bit incestuous. The world! It was full of dinosaurs, killed off by meteors. But we'll be safe from velociraptors unless they figure out how to open doors. A boy, the fate of the world on his shoulders rest will be put to the ultimate test friends will fall by evil foes danger will keep him on his toes Frodo no, never left the shire no, cast the ring into the fire no, one ring to no, rule them all we're one ring no, to find them no, one on. ring to what why did you stop what non-fiction have you been reading I saw a documentary on that last week it went for fucking ages <laughs> okay that's Lord of the Rings we'll stick to the facts okay yeah. from now uh, Egyptians Romans Greeks and Trojans witches dwarves and magic potions wars will fought over women and jewels the Balrog's coming fucking fools that's not fact it's fiction it's Lord of the Rings I read it in a book once that's how you learn these things just cause you read it in a book once that doesn't make it fact try telling Christians that <laughs> Obviously, Jesus isn't here tonight, um, which is quite good because you get pretty cross at that last joke. Oh, nailed it! Whoop it! I do think Jesus' miracles are a little bit overrated. He's supposed to have fed 5,000 people with five loaves of bread. That's not a miracle. He just owns a tapas restaurant in a trendy suburb. How many of you are there? Oh, 40. Four arancini balls. That should sort you out. $85 each. All right, well, let's fast forward to the Middle Ages when there were crusades of faith. Joan of Arc made a career mistake. She wanted to be a chef, but she burned the stake. Kings and queens and ruling classes ruled the world. Kick peasants' asses. I don't mean to speak ill of the dead, but Marie Antoinette, she gave great head. That's the dumbest joke in the song. Also, the only joke he wrote himself. So. <laughs> The Renaissance brought art to the fore A painter would let go when a painter had been gone before Starry night, Galileo wasn't dumb Sigmund Freud had a thing for his mum The elephant man was a sight to be seen Maybe he's born with it, maybe it's Maybelline Elite sportsman so used to pampering Lance Armstrong and the Australian cricket team Both caught ball tampering Then a man came along Waged war against the western world In his quest for glory he killed men and women Boys and girls He was the greatest terrorist the world has ever known And his name was Bold the Mort! Oh, who was it then? It was Osama Bin Laden! Okay, yeah, got it. Keep playing, just I'll fix this. Good, fix it. <laughs> oh, just quickly, Osama yeah. was the bad guy. Bad guy, bad got guy. it, yeah. No, knew that, and good boy I was. Obama was Check. the... Alright, keep going. <laughs> 
between Obama and Osama, conflict lay behind every soldier's darkest day. And every time one of them died, it's because of America's lies. Obama, he's dueling Osama over pits of fire and lava, whips out his sabre, cuts off his armor, and yells, I am your father! Catching his eyes, and he's leaning out of the camera, in my dreams. Doesn't make any fucking sense because he drowned on the Titanic. We hope you've learned some facts when the Stevenson experience took you back in time. That was the history of mankind. Thank you for the Stevenson experience.